So, how did you end up writing the corduroy books? Oh, the corduroy books. Well, corduroy and I go way back. Um, I started my, before I started my writing career, I had a career in designing and art direction in children's books. And I started off at the Viking Press in New York. And one of the very first books I worked on was Pocket for Corduroy with Don Freeman, who originated both Corduroy and Pocket for Corduroy. And very shortly after we finished Pocket for Corduroy, sadly Don Freeman died. And um, after he died, the estate and Viking asked me if I would uh, continue writing books about corduroy. And first we started with the Lift the Flap books, of which there now I think are about, oh, 14, 13 or 14. The very first one was one, still one of my favorites, Corduroy's Christmas. Um, and the very latest one is Play Ball Corduroy. And I love this one because I have a son who plays baseball. So I watched a lot of baseball. Uh, the next one coming out is going to be on Corduroy Gets a Pet. And you'll have to wait to see what kind of a pet Corduroy gets. Uh, in addition to the Lift the Flap books, though, I've also written a book that's much more of a companion to the original two, uh, called Corduroy Lost and Found. And Jody Wheeler did the illustrations to this book very much in the style of Don Freeman's original work. The Lift the Flat books are all illustrated by Lisa McHugh, and they're in a style that's really quite different from Don Freeman's style. Very appropriate for the Lift the Flat books, but quite different from Don's. Um, but Corduroy Lust and Found looks very much like the original uh, Corduroy books. And they've, they're all really a delight. Every project's a little different, and they're all really quite delightful to do. And they bring back an awful lot of great memories for me of working with Don on, on Pocket for Corduroy. And that's how I got started writing them. And I hope I'll, I get to do a lot more.